in 2017 as President Trump bashed Mexico. And American companies that produced goods in Mexico, like General Motors, a perhaps unintended consequence was happening. Analysts noticed that tweets from the president were correlated with sharp drops in the Mexican case. The irony? The same president denouncing the U.S.'s trade deficit as a sign that nations like Mexico and China were taking advantage of us was making the Mexican peso cheaper, actually making it easier for U.S. presidents to buy goods and services, well, capital assets from Mexico. If only the White House had understood the exchange rate systems. See, the U.S. and Mexico operate on what's called a free float system. They allow their currencies to gain and lose value without government intervention. So when President Trump would bad talk Mexico, the outlook for the country would diminish, which was reflected in a weaker currency in the market. As you'll recall from my last video, changes in exchange rates between countries is one of the mechanisms for changing net exports. There are a few different kinds of exchange rate systems besides free float. There are also managed floats, which involves a government managing the direction and magnitude of exchange rate changes. You could also peg the value of a currency to a commodity, like the gold standard the U.S. was under for most of its existence before the 1970s. In that case, your currency will always trade for a certain amount of gold. Now defunct, Brennan Wood system had all currencies in the Western world back to the U.S. dollar. It represented a form of a fixed exchange rate system within which a nation stood ready to buy or sell as much of the currency from the market as necessary to keep the exchange rate on a target. It can be expensive fighting natural market forces. And as many countries learned, their foreign currency reserves could be quickly depleted if investors genuinely thought a country's future was bleak and decided to get rid of their holdings of its currency. Inevitably, most nations in the Brennan Woods fixed or pegged system moved to a floating system. Fortunately for the president, his next biggest target, China, uses a managed float system with People's Central Bank committed to keeping the exchange rate between certain boundaries. Though recently they did get accused of currency manipulation when the renminbi fell below seven for a dollar.